Hi there, Shahar here from Waves. Today I'm going to tell you about an innovative new plugin from Waves called Vocal Rider and show you how to use it. Vocal Rider rides the level of your vocal track automatically in real time. You no longer have to sit there riding the fader of your vocal track or drawing in automation, it does it for you. Let me show you what it looks like. From something that's good, yeah, to something that's great. So that's it. All I did was put the plugin on the track and it starts writing my vocal level automatically. Let me walk you through the different parts of the plugin. The first thing I usually set up is the target. Target is the sweet spot of where you want your vocal level to be. The next thing I do is set the vocal sensitivity to help the plugin differentiate between vocals and noise bleed or spill into the mic. This way, the plugin doesn't take noise, think it's low vocals, and raise it up. Then you have the fader. You actually don't need to touch this, the fader moves automatically. Set the range, the limit of how much motion you want the fader to have. This little triangle determines the idle position, which is where the fader parks in between vocal phrases. Using this button, you can set the motion of the fader to be fast or slow, depending on the content material and how you like to write vocals. Another feature of the Vocal Rider is the music sensitivity. Vocal Rider can actually listen to the playback, the music of the track, and be sensitive to that when it rides the vocal, to make sure the vocal stays just on top of the music, for example. So what I did on this track is send all the tracks except for the vocal to bus 1, and set the key sidechain input on Vocal Rider to bus 1. And then set my music sensitivity to determine how sensitive should Vocal Rider be to the music. The last thing I want to show you is the automation. Vocal Rider can actually write the automatic movements of the fader directly to the automation lane in your DAW. That's very easy to do. Set the automation to touch a right on your vocal track. Put Vocal Rider in write mode. And watch when I hit play how the automation gets written in real time. From something that's good, yeah, to something that's great. And all things are right when you can't tell whether it's day. Now you can go in and fine tune that if you want, put Vocal Writer in read, and you're ready to go. So as we've seen, Vocal Writer can be used in the studio when you're working on your music tracks, but it can also be used in live situations and in broadcast. In fact, my microphone right now is going through a Vocal Writer plugin and leveling my vocal in real time as I make this tutorial. So that's it. I hope that was useful. I'll see you guys next time. To something that's great And all things are right When you can't tell Whether it's day